We've got a special recipe request from Lisa. Hey, what's up, Sorted Boys? It's me, Lisa Schwartz, Lisa Buck here on YouTube, and I have an official challenge for you guys. I am a pain in the ass to cook for because I am allergic to everything, so I challenge you to make me something that's vegan and gluten-free and delicious. I don't know if that actually exists, but uh, that's my challenge for you, so give it to me, boys. Lisa wants something vegan and gluten free and we've got the perfect thing for you, it's going to taste incredible. We are going to make our very own okra curry, so that's onion, ginger, garlic and okra, tomato sauce, but just the tomato flesh, and then we're going to serve on a bed of cumin spiked hummus. Every ingredient there has got tons of flavour. Fact, and colour and everything else. And Jay, if you can start up with ginger and garlic, a fine dice of both, and I'm going to do the same to an onion, red onion. This is a pretty standard base to a lot of curries, onion, ginger, garlic, and we're going to put a yeah. few spices in it. But this is also a quick curry. I reckon we can cook the whole thing in about 20 minutes. So we're not looking at a long, slow cook stewing of, of meat or anything. This is okra and tomato we want to keep fresh. A slight bite to them. I don't think I've ever had okra before, so I'm really looking forward to that. And to be honest with you, it's not something I've cooked with a great deal, um, but I had it in a restaurant, uh, an Indian restaurant, a couple of weeks back, and it was amazing. I thought, why haven't we done this unsorted? So here it is. And Lisa's request was the perfect opportunity to showcase it. Start it off with a shot of oil, and that can all go in there, so the onion, the garlic, and the ginger. Meanwhile, though, I'm going to look at our okra. So you're just going to look at it? Then we're going to prepare it. So it's a vegetable. We're going to take off the top and the tip and cut what's left into chunks, often called ladies' fingers. Why? Because they look like ladies' fingers, don't they? How on earth is that anything like a lady's finger? You just sort of grab three, three or four. Hello, child. That's what ladies say to me. <laughs> so several at a time, we can take the tops off and then just cut them into roughly equal pieces. And also there's kind of a slime to it. So on the inside, kind of a sappy, as you get in any vegetable, but as you cook, that comes out and it helps to thicken the curry. Okay, because it looks like a chilli on the inside, doesn't it? It's got yeah, it's got that, and the seeds and the kind of the, the hollow section inside. Am I good to put the, um, the ginger and the garlic in? Yeah, we're not actually putting any chilli, it's funny you should say chilli, into this dish, but we are going to serve it with cashew nuts at the end, which we're going to toast off with cayenne pepper for texture and extra protein. We need to give the onion, ginger and garlic a head start, but then we can add in our spices. Three spices, ground cumin, ground coriander, and ground fenugreek. Again, mm. another spice that's I think very underused. A little bit of salt and pepper, and that's all the flavour we're going to need in there. And then the onions are slightly softened, but not yet cooked, but now's a good time oh, to put the okra already. in. And the okra, like any good veg, peppers or courgette, you don't want to cook them until they're mushy. No. You still want to bite them. So they're going to need about five or six minutes in total, but we give them a bit of a head start before we add in our tomato. So that's your next job. Lovely. Which is just the tomato flesh. So as we've done so many times before, if you can quarter them and get rid of the middle. And the technical term for that is? Canoeing, apparently. So basically, it's just the flesh you want, not all the inside wet bit. Okay, okay just that bit. And from there, we can just cut that up into three or four, and that can go in in a minute. If the pan gets a little bit too hot, a splash of water will just stop those dry spices from sticking and burning to the bottom of the pan. Plus, it's all the juices splash. out of the okra kind of makes its own sauce. So leave that to bubble for five minutes. Yep. Your tomatoes are looking perfect. They're going to go in the moelle. Now for our nuts. Plain, raw cashew nuts into a pan with a generous pinch of cayenne pepper, and that's the spice in this dish. Mm. A generous pinch of salt and a little glug of oil. Okay, the, okay. the nuts will release natural oil anyway, but just a little bit helps it on its way. A little heat, and we'll just toast those off gently for five minutes till they turn nice and golden. The only thing left of this dish now is our hummus. Okay, so we're going to serve all of this on a bed of hummus. Wow. Which couldn't be simpler. We've made hummus a few times before. This time we're going to spike it with cumin. Okay, so it's going to match and complement all the other flavours we've got going on. So a tin of drained chickpeas, a clove of garlic going in raw. If you can squeeze the juice of a lemon in, yep, along with a generous teaspoon of cumin seeds. It's really difficult. Do you know what? You just get funnier and funnier every time, Jamie. <laughs> and finally, enough oil. This is rapeseed oil, so you get a nice golden colour to blend the whole thing together. More than you might imagine, because when those chickpeas blend up, they're really dry. Obviously, seasoning, salt and pepper, and that's hummus. So simple. That's really easy. One quick blend up, and we're left with a smooth paste. 
soon as it's smooth, turn it off, and that is hummus done. That is really easy. Look at okra now. You see, it's starting to get that kind of slimy consistency. At that yep. point, the tomatoes can go in. Okay. Again, you don't want these to mash down into a tomato sauce. You want pieces of tomato, but you've got to warm them through so they soften a little. Turn our heat up and leave that for two minutes. Our nuts need to continue to toast for about three or four minutes. Our hummus is ready, and then we can plate up our vegan and gluten-free dish. Elisa. These nuts did a good toss. Uh, a good toss, that was a bad one. Okay, okay. There we go. And some fresh coriander, if you can just chop that up. That's going to go into an okra curry right at the end. But yep. we are ready to play up now, so I'm just going to begin to serve up our hummus as the base to this dish. Look at the colour of that, and that's because we used the rapeseed oil. Yeah. So it's got a beautiful vibrancy. I have to tell you, you can't smell it in here, but the smells are fantastic. Agreed. And they're coming from each of the three pans. Yes, there is lots going on. So our little kind of nest of hummus, your coriander into here. One final stir. We don't want to overcook the coriander, so as soon as it goes in, it's pretty much good to serve. And finish it with some of those toasted nuts. A really quick and simple, damn tasty, gluten-free and vegan dish of okra. Sorted. Straight in for the okra. Mm. Cook veg, still with a crunch. That okra is amazing. Why have I not had that before? Something that might have been difficult to get hold of a few years ago. Now readily available in all UK supermarkets. That is amazing. And I have to be honest, if you hadn't told me that this was gluten free and vegan, I wouldn't have guessed. And it's all healthy fats as well. The oil, rapeseed oil, just nuts, natural fats. It's really, really good. And hopefully a dish that Lisa will love too. It really is incredible. We have loads more of these and they're all on our website, sortedfood.com. So make sure you go in here and check it out. <laughs>